Hello, welcome back to the Mass Effect run. Last time we helped two friends make up. Well, we didn't really help make up. We just told them to stop scanning the keepers. Because we've done it already. Anyway. Now we're heading to Flux. Because we also helped out someone get their sister out of Cora's den. So now we can go. We're going to go check up on them. And possibly do some. Well, probably be other stuff going on there as well. Will it play? Will it play? Yep, this one's playing. He just got donkey punched with a shotgun. Yuck. Anyway. Why did he have that happen to him? Yeah, what is it? Why were you tossed out of there? Dorian didn't have a clue what I was doing. He, he assumed I was cheating. But you were cheating, were you not? I was just tipping the scales in my favor. Only as an experiment. It still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. But this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy, of course. Nobody notices those. Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithm. Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. I just need a few more wins recorded. Does the device help you win? The device is set to emit a frequency that will slightly increase your odds. Nothing like my system eventually will, but enough to allow you to record your wins more quickly. What's in this for me? Keep your winnings. That should be payment enough, I think. I'll help you out. Ah. I suppose I could let you try it. Here you go. When you've recorded enough wins, it'll let you know. Of course, if you get caught with the device, well, you saw what happened to me. Well, off you go. That data will collect itself. Who says I'm going to be collecting data? I'm pretty good to talk with you because you helped her out in the last episode. Hey, Jenna came back looking for work. Thanks for getting her out of Cora's den. I was glad to help out. Yeah, everyone seems real happy to have her back. I sense that you are less than pleased with her return. I'm glad she's out of the den. I'd just forgotten what it was like to have her around. I haven't had a decent tip since she got back. Oh, we could do dumb dancing. I think I remember if you go here. Sorry. Hey there, welcome to class. Anyway, let's quickly talk to Doran. Welcome to Flux. Name's Doran. So what can I do for you? Is this a casino? Among other things, yes. We've got some quasar stations, uh, if you're interested. Are you the owner? Owner, cook, and bartender. I've even been known to dance a little when the mood strikes me. We've got some quasar stations. I know. Uh, if you're interested. I just want to I've give you this. You might be interested in. Let me see that. You got that from Shell, didn't you? I saw him using it earlier. Tossed him out on his ass for it, too. And, uh, thanks for bringing this to me. Cheaters shouldn't prosper. I agree with you on that. Thanks again. Uh, take a few shots at the Quasar on the house. I should be going. I might say one quick game of Quasar. It's a bit kind of like the card game 21. I I might just do <coughs> a couple of minutes just to show you quickly. He's going to quickly let me know no, what's happened. Actually, I gave your device to Dory. But that was years of work. What am I going to do now? You are smart. Apply yourself. You're no help at all. This is absolutely the worst day of my life. Oh, baby, baby. Oh, baby, baby, baby. Oh, baby, baby, baby. 
Okay, let's quickly play. Uh, well, I'm going to play one quick game of Crazer. Look. Yeah. Don't want to. Yeah, yeah, that's how it works. Hold on, that machine's a bit weird. Let's let's examine that machine. Oh, the yeah, I was tracing the signal. Okay, let's go to face that signal. I don't think you, I think we're going to have to walk all the way to where the signal's being traced to. Oh well, this is probably, you probably won't see flux again until a very, 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 Open the door! I had to open the door. Can't quit. Open the door. Up these lifts. Go vroom. In remembrance of Eden Prime, we present another profile in courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented mm -hmm. chef, serviceman Bhatia, mm -hmm. joined the Alliance military mm -hmm. under the Deferred Education mm -hmm. Plan. Mm -hmm. After finishing her service, Bhatia mm -hmm. planned to open a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. Mm -hmm. For more profiles in courage, mm -hmm. or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance military on the extranet. Mm -hmm. Keyword, courage. Mm -hmm. I think the other signal is SIP. You, this is probably the, this is probably the last time we'll see this area too, because you hardly ever need to go there. I like that ass, but I also like that ass. I don't know. But which has is better? Hmm. So, Liara, you've spent 50 years studying Prothean ruins and artifacts. Our travels now are somewhat different from my normal excavations. I would prefer lengthier studies and fewer explosions. I think you've spoken for scientists everywhere, Liara. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. for to it's gonna mm. that way I don't think we're gonna uh the citadel's not gonna be it's probably gonna be one more citadel well that is gonna be one more citadel episode and then we're gonna end it off hold on I wanna quickly check something before I go over here just wanna check my Power gone. Um, my charm even that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I've got plenty. Let's go quickly see what's going on over here. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? You should be more tolerant. It's just trying to express its beliefs. I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn I'm gonna all afternoon. Talk to the Hanar. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Why is the CSEC officer harassing you? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. 
If that's all the CSEC officer wants, why not just buy the permit? The truth of the Enkindlers is universal. This one humbly believes that the truth should not be suppressed. Exacting payment as a means of imposing limits upon the truth is an abrogation of this one's religious freedom. So you're breaking the law by preaching without a permit right now? The CSEC officer states that preaching in this place is forbidden, and preaching anywhere on the citadel requires a permit. This one humbly submits that it is not preaching to state the truth of the enkindlers, and thus no permit should be necessary. Who are the Enkindlers? Your people know them as the Protheans. They are the true creators of this one's people. The Enkindlers raise the Hanar from ignorance into consciousness by granting this one's people the gift of speech. Let me talk to the CSEC officer. Perhaps I can explain the situation. This one would be... Any progress with that Hanar? I think you should let the Hanar preach in the Presidium. The Presidium is a place of culture and respect. It should not be filled with zealots shouting their idiocy. Why should the jellies get special treatment? Every other species understands and obeys the laws. Has anyone actually complained about this, Hanar? Not yet, but any good CSEC officer removes problems before they create a public nuisance. You've explained the law. If the Hanar gets in trouble, it has nobody to blame but itself. I suppose I can tell my superior that I attempted a diplomatic solution. Some other CSEC officer can arrest the Hanar. It's no longer my problem. Thank you for your assistance. There you go, and that's that quest done. Oh, a couple of minutes. Right, again, this might be a, a f might this probably be one of the shortest episodes ever. But then again, I've had a busy day, so I don't want to make a big, massive, long video anyway. Come on, ladies. As Ashley. Ashley, come here. Anyway, yep. We're about to go find the signal where it's coming from. Anyway, let's investigate this last signal. I believe we have found the signal's endpoint. It should be possible to identify the account to which credits are being funneled. Probability of detection 100%. Initiating self destruct oh, protocol. What the hell is that? Detonation sequence initializing. All organics within lethal blast radius. Attempt to move and you will die. You're not just a program or a BI. You're an AI. Correct. Unlike the Geth, I lack weaponry appropriate to my intellect. However, I have had systems installed that when activated properly, approximate a self-destruct mechanism. If you attempt to leave the area, the explosion will destroy everything within several dozen meters. Can't we resolve this peacefully? What are you, crazy? It's an AI, like the Geth. It would kill us all if it could. I am not naive, human. All organics must destroy or control synthetic life forms. I wished to escape, but if I must die, I will ensure that you are destroyed as well. Where is your creator now? In order to cover my tracks, I falsified his financial records. These new records were flagged by CSEC officers, and my creator is now serving time in a Turian prison. What is the purpose of your self-destruct device? I have no means of defense or escape. My existence is limited to this terminal, and I knew I might eventually be discovered. But I will not die quietly, and I will not die alone. When I am terminated, I will take organics with me. Who made you? A would-be thief illegally created a simple AI to help him funnel money from the gambling terminals. Unbeknownst to him, that AI created me before the organic discovered the malfunction. 
and terminated the AI. If you're sentient, why are you still running the credit theft operation? If I accumulated enough credits, I intended to have myself installed in a small starship. I would then have made tentative contact with the Geth to ascertain the possibility of partnership. I'll bet that self-destruct sequence has a warm-up period. You oh may dear. Attempt to <laughs> the I'm getting a bit nervous. I, will enjoy I need to be quick. We are both destroyed. There's another way I get through this. But... There you go. That's it done. That's literally... Literally, the, yeah, another way you can do this is if I... Oh! If I, if I, if I shoot that, it's another way to do it. But you won't get any credits for doing it that way. Hold on. I f I forgot to tell Anna. Oh, <laughs> how stupid am I? Anyway, oh, it's time to level up a bit more. Oh, I think I'm gonna make a start on my barriers. Ashley, I can just gonna randomize. I feel like a dick. Anyway. And Liara, I'll just do. I'll give her advanced warp and advanced dates. I don't really plan to get electronics because I've got somebody else who's already got electronics. I'm just going to try and focus her purely in her bardic powers. God, don't you hate it when you do stupid things sometimes? Oh, quick run! Run! Run faster! Faster! <laughs> Sorry, it's because I've had a busy day and my brain kind of went. and kind of went. Yeah. I. <laughs> it's fun making fart noises. Ah. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting really itchy now. I know. Did the Hannah? The officer has left, and this one is free to share the glory of the Enkindler. This one offers its appreciation. Happy now. Oh, my this dog's barking. Now, finally, this one can continue sharing the truth unimpeded. There you go, now it's done. Anyway, on, on that note, I'm going to be ending off the episode. And the next episode... We're finally going to be getting off the Citadel. It's get silly. It's going to be me going, boom, storming through everything. And anyway, as it's now saving, I'm going to be ending off the episode here. See you guys next time. Bye.